Hey, let's play! Welcome back to more SmackDown. Here comes the pain. I'm Hero. They call me, and thank you for joining me. In the last video, we named our faction the Motherfuckers, and now we're in October, the first week of October, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's get into it. The Motherfuckers is occupying the ring. It looks just like that night. We, the Motherfuckers, have come to see this wonderful crowd tonight. Let me introduce to you guys. First, the toughest man in the business, Eddie. And me, Lesnar. You all know me, of course. And she is not here, but we have Tori as well. And the best damn wrestler in the industry. King, wait a minute, it's... That's right, the chairman of the WWE. He doesn't look happy, does he? Then while you have startled... It's startled, wow. You have started something very interesting. Everybody is taking... Taking, I can't speak. Everybody is talking about your faction. You guys are quite impressive. But... Who gave you permission to go off on your own and create this faction? The WWE is mine. I'm the power that controls everything. So I will show you my power. Mr. McMahon looked a little irritated with the new factions. I can't imagine what he's going to do. I bet he has something already planned out. Nobody backstage, as per usual, and uh, we'll just get into our match here and uh, kick some bootay. And we're facing Rhino, oh, big surprise. Eddie Guerrero and Brock Lesnar are facing Jachiri and John Cena, and they win, of course. So it's uh, Chris Paul and Rhino time, let's get into it. Oh yeah, it feels like I wrestle the same guys every week, but uh, I'll kick Rhino's butt right here. And, uh, you know, win the game. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that Flippin, if I remember correctly, I think uh, Vince McMahon sends a faction after you, creates his own faction or something. So I'm assuming it's going to be like Rhino, Tajiri, John Cena, and somebody else. Which is a pretty shitty faction compared to mine. I got like three legendary wrestlers and one of the hottest chicks ever to grace the ring. <laughs> so I win no matter what. The only way you could get better is if you had, like, I don't know, fucking Undertaker, Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, and, uh, like, I don't know, Trish Stratus or something. One. Two. And the release. Three. Big three German suplexes right there. Boom. There we go. Dive elbow drop. Take him down. And, uh, no, can't beat him yet. I want to beat him with a gore. That's my goal in this match. To gore Rhino and pin him in the middle of the ring. Big power bomb right there. Then while going to the top rope, looking for that famous flying headbutt. And he hits it. Right in the middle of the ring. Dropping bows now. Man, I gotta make some din din after this. And by din din, I mean dinner. <laughs> don't, don't mind me. I'm just a two year old kid. Uh, it is, what time is it? It's five o'clock in the afternoon. It's a Sunday as I record this. So, you know, lovely day. It's fucking cold as balls again. It's minus, like, 12, I think, or something. It's almost April, and it's still in the minuses, so it's been uh, quite cold lately. It's usually in the pluses by now, but, uh, it's cold. Yeah, it's weird. It's nice, though, because I hate the heat, so I'd rather have it freezing than super hot. All right, we set him up with it. Here we go. Ben Watts calling for it. He's saying it's over. He's saying it's over. He's going to go into his corner here. He's looking for it. Oh, that's bullshit. I wasted it. I wasted the gore. Now I'm going to have to beat him up even more to get it. And German suplex on the back of his head. Get up, Rhino. Get up, son. Here it comes. A shining wizard right in the middle of the ring. Will it be enough? One. Two. Oh, Rhino having none of it. Kicking out. It. Uh, the mark of two. Uh-oh. He takes up the ref. You know what that means. It's time for the chair shots. Back in the ring. Don't look at the ref. Look at Rhino, please. Look at Rhino. Oh, bitch ass. Give me that. Ugh. Damn it. How do you reverse? Nope. Okay. Pick up the chair. Hit him in the head. Damn it. You flipping tit, bitch. Ugh. There we go. Well, at least we got one finisher back, so that's a plus. We can make him submit now or something. And he's weak as balls. As you can see, he's red everywhere except for his arms and his legs. So 50% of his body's right, I should say. Yeah, get back in the ring, son. Get your ass kicked this time. Oh, busted him open with a shining wizard. One. Two. Then he kicks out again. Wow, what's he flipping made out of? Douche. Big elbow to the face. And we'll follow that up with a powerbomb. I'm gonna I'm gonna gore him. I said I would, so I'm going to. Big power bomb in the middle of the ring. Time to gesture. Bitch, it's over. Ain't got no time for this. No time, says Benoit. I really wish these taunts would uh, build up my momentum bar. There we go. Oh, missed him completely. That's awesome. 
Yeah. Oh, cross chops takes out the ref. Did not mean to do that ref. He kind of got in my way. He kind of moved in the way of uh, where he was standing. So, yeah. Not my fault. Flying headbutts. Douche. Okay, now we got it. Just got to make sure that uh, we don't mess this one up. He's calling for it. He's saying it's over. Benoit's saying it's over. He's got to wait for him to get up, though. And here it comes. Boom. Gore. <laughs> Gore by Benoit. One. Two. Three. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, shit. It's Matt Hardy, Val Venus, and the Big Show. I'm so scared. What the hell is this? Right after the match. Who's behind this? Three on one. What a cheap tactic. Hey, look who it is. Oh, great. It's Vince McMahon. There was a sample of my power, Benoit. I own the WWE, and I'm the great Vincent Kenny McMahon, damn it. I have all the power in this industry. And then, and so does my faction, the corporation. What you're putting together is just a joke compared to us. A new faction is born, and Mr. McMahon has their back. It's going to be an intense rivalry like we've never seen before. Alright, so Mr. McMahon tries to uh, bounce back of his own. Ours is way, way better than his, so I'm not too worried. Alright, it's October 2nd week, Tucson, Arizona. Let's get into it. Benoit's arriving by private bus. The motherfuckers express is here. They must have paid a fortune for that bus. How is Mr. McMahon going to compete with that? Ooh, Tory Wilson. I can't believe Mr. McMahon is backing those guys. I'm not really worried though. We're still the most dominant team in WWE. Yeah, no shit we are, Tory. They're like the fucking job squad over there. Compared to us, we're main eventers, the motherfuckers. Alright, let's see what we got tonight. Big show and Matt Hardy, eh? Tori Wilson beat Sable. No, nope. okay. Apparently Sable's part of their crew. What is this? Sable's attacking fiercely. Sable wants to join the corporation. The rivalry between these two factions is going at an alarming rate. Poor Tori. She got her butt whipped. Alright, so let's get revenge on Matt Hardy and Big Show here. Oh! Flipping big spinning uppercut there by Matt Hardy. Jeez. Going for the pin already? Really? Come on, get out of here, Hardy. Freaking mid Cardi. Ugh! Get cross chopped, son. All right, let's, uh, let's see what kind of tag team moves we have here, Eddie Guerrero and uh, Benoit. Got the power bomb? Yeah, we do. Big double team power bomb. Eddie Guerrero in the ring, looking for some triple three amigo suplexes. What's this? Corey special? Oh, airplane spin. We moves into the neck breaker. Sweet move by Eddie Guerrero right there. Let's see what kind of signature moves he has in this game. Jumping Hurricanrana. That's nice. That's a nice little lovely move. Oh, low blow behind the ref's back. You didn't see it because he was too busy. Looking uh, Benoit square in the eyes for some odd reason. Oh, here comes the suplex. Boom, just one, not three. I want the three amigos. Was it not invented in this game? That might uh, that might be the reason why I don't have it. But oh, big clothesline by Meth Hardy, Mid Cardi, Fat Hardy, whatever you want to call him. Nice side effect by Matt Hardy. Oh, try to go for the freaking uh, uh, corkscrew moon salt, I guess you call it. Wow, and flipping flying all over the place is Matt Hardy right now. Ooh, big calf kick by Eddie Guerrero. Gonna set him up here with a suplex. One, there it is. There's one amigo. And two amigos. And he's looking for the third. Viva la raza, baby. There's the third one right in the middle of the ring. Matt Hardy's feeling it on his back now. See that? Oh, I look for the elbow drop, but it uh, barely connects with it. Nope, Big Show ain't getting in this match. I'll tell you that right now. Clothesline right there by Eddie Guerrero. And Manhattan drop. He's punching him to death. Big calf kick. Look for the tag. He gets Benoit into the match. Here comes Chris Benoit. Oh, big reversal by Matt Hardy. Big reversal by Chris Benoit. And another reversal by Matt Hardy. Jeez. It's a reversal match of the century right now. Oh my goodness. No. No. Jeez. Oh, there goes the ref. So, you know what that means. Let me uh, just get out of here and uh, grab myself. A, uh, a chair. That'd be lovely if I could do that, please. Thank you. And I have myself a chair. Yeah, how do you like... Oh, why do you always reverse the second shot? I don't understand that. Give me it. God, come on. Don't be a dick. Oh, dicks. Oh, double dicks. Freaking Big Show's got two finishers now. I gotta watch out for that, because that would be some bad news bears if he hits me with one of those. Even two of them. That'd be worse. Oh, big knockout punch by... Big show right there on Benoit. Uh, big cross chop to the face. Alright, let's take him down. Beat him down a bit. No, oh, how did I not reverse that? Shit! No, I don't want to be choke slammed. Oh, we're in the middle of the ring. 
How about you get in here? Uh, thank you. I'm fucking weak as balls right now. Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work, Eddie. Good try though. A for effort. Freaking big show in his super moves. Oh, big tiger suplex right there. That might have been dragon suplex actually. My bad. No! No! Oh shit! Follow a slam. Boom! That's a far fall to fall from. Get Eddie back in this ring here, so uh, he can distract the ref. Or you know that works too. Can't make a pin when you're distracted, now can you? <laughs> Thank you. Jeez, Louise, that was too close for comfort. Ah, fuck off. Jeez. Ah, he's got the tights. <laughs> Can't do that. Oh, just getting my ass kicked by Eddie or uh, Big Show right now. Yeah, how do you like getting low blow, you son of a bitch? DDT on the Big Show. All right. Okay, I'm weak as shit right now. Oh, jeez. Should probably get Eddie in this match. That'd be a good idea. But I gotta weaken the Big Show first before I do that. Uh oh, big power bomb by Chris Benoit on the Big Show. Yeah, right, douche. He's feeling it though. He's got uh, those voices in his head telling him to kill him, but he doesn't want it. He doesn't want to lose his job right now. Uh. Get down, son. Triple Germans. One. Two. And three. Well, at least he's a little bit weak in the head now. That's a plus. Just a tad though, not too much. Uh, gonna go for the Rikishi driver, weaken him out a bit more. Boom! Oh. Man, Big Show takes a beating in this game, I'll tell you what. Ugh. I have another one. I don't know what I'm doing. Northern Lights suplex. We can out his back a bit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna hit him with like two more moves and I'm gonna try to choke slam him and hope for the best. How do you reverse that? No. Yes, I reversed his finisher. How about you like it? There you go. Eat your own finisher. We can punch the face. Eddie Guerrero's got his finisher. He's gonna look for it right now. As he's going for the five-star frog splash, or just a frog splash, I should say. Boom! He hits him with it. But he gets a rope break. Lucky. Oh, shit. Going to the top rope here. Missed with the elbow drop. At least uh, Matt Hardy's back in the match. So that makes it a lot easier for me. Uh, you could uh, fuck off. No! <laughs> Jeez. All right, Matt Hardy. You want some? Come get some, as John Cena would say. Big fallaway slam there in the middle of the ring. Let's go for the... I don't know, let's do a move here, let's see what we got. Snapmare. Into the drop kick to the back of the head of Matt Hardy. Pick him up. Let's go for the three amigos, why not? Three amigo time. One. And two. And the third one. A boosh right in the middle of the ring. Let's go for the frog splash on Matt Hardy. Can we hit it? Boom, there it is, the five star frog splash. Two, three. three, yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you get, you punks. Big Show might have done some damage, but we kicked your butts nonetheless. So wait till Brock Lesnar's in one of our matches, and we get to kick your butts even harder. Now we're gonna get revenge. Oh, they want punching the ref in the face. They don't want none of it. Matt Hardy's gonna get his ass kicked now. Oh, Andy Guerrero taking the brunt of it. He's beating up Matt Hardy in the dick. Kick his ass, you bass. <laughs> Alright, so that was fun. Was a tough match, but we uh, came up on top as per usual. Big Show did some damage, but we're good. We're fine. Oh, it's Taz. What does he want? Hey, Benoit. Next month, there's an event taking place in Manchester. Are you interested in being part of it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Well, I see. I should be a, it should be a successful event. Ooh. Alright, guys. So, next week's videos on Monday will be going to my hometown of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Whoopie doo. So anyways, I'm here to call me. If you guys enjoyed this video, you don't have to do, show me some thumbs, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace out.